Ah, another vlogger dome video. This one on vegetarianism. And so I did a YouTube search, and uh, yeah, it's kind of disappointing <laughs> that all the highest viewed videos are all cooking videos. It's all about the food and whatever that is. An ass? No. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Can't say an ass. Anyway, um, just going to look at some of this stuff. Anyway, what I would like, uh, you know, I want to do, you know, put links on the um, the page on Blogger Dome to um, different websites and slash YouTube channels. So if you know some YouTube channels that uh, have vegetarian content, I mean, it can be some cooking stuff, but if it's just about the food, well, you know, it's really not the subject. Um, yeah, um, you know, advocacy websites. You know, they can be sort of based on health, I guess. They don't have to be fully relevant to the important subject of preserving our dignity by not debasing ourselves by cruelly stripping the <laughs> flesh off of other animals and frying it. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, just put the name of the channel. Yeah, name of the channel. So if you want, like even if it's your channel, you could put your channel name in the comment. And uh, so if somebody wants to go to the trouble to find some good um, YouTube channels that have vegetarian content, I would appreciate it just because I'd like to create some kind of link mechanism that links to those channels or monitors those videos they produce and links them and that kind of thing. And yeah, so I appreciate it. Anyway, so you don't have to watch this part because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to run into here, but I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll watch a couple of these videos and just see and go down the list and see how long it takes to get to one that's actually got some content about the subject of vegetarianism, not just about the food, you know. So anyway, this is all Indian stuff, apparently. So, hot for cooking. We'll have to open this, right? Because, yeah, the chick's doing the thing on purpose, so we'll have to do this just for the hell of it. She's got them basketball boobs. So, who knows what we're going to get. We're going to get an ad for sure, right? Seems pretty, pretty much a guarantee, right? Yeah, there's the little thing. As a mom, yeah, I know what my favorite go. should and shouldn't be. Yeah, fuck you. But it's harder to know what's going on inside. Oh, there. shut up. As a vet, yeah, I do. Yeah, and yeah, as a vet, you don't know what goes on. You, you know what? You know what's in that dog food? You know what's in that? Yeah, it's all kinds of ground up shit is what's in there. It's disgusting. Now it's nutrition. That's why it's number one choice. Oh, vets yeah. Like yeah, vets like you. Vets like you. Boy, <laughs> Yeah, that's great. Hot for cooking videos are intended to be fun, sexy, encouraged, upbeat attitude about cooking. Consequences may be not inappropriate for minors. Oh, it's not appropriate for minors. I mean, you're just outrageous. Just, what? Grow a, <laughs> grow a brain. How can you? You don't have any fucking cells left. There's no DNA. It's all wasted on that shit. Whatever that is. <laughs> Sorry, that is just... What the fuck? This assumption that that's sexy, I think that's a foolish assumption. I really think it's a silly assumption to, to assume that somebody finds that at all appealing. Look, her ass is almost up to her face. Almost. She's got an ass almost to her face. Let's see if it gets any better or worse. Let's see, she's going to do something sexy. Cook on the curry. Make a ready. Make a ready. All right, cut it off, in. Yeah. So, this was used for me, but you still can use for much turning. Anything you want, you can put it in. Yeah, anything you want, you put in. <laughs> anything you want, you put in. <laughs> anything you want, you put in. But I like women who say that, though. I have to admit, I like women who say that. I don't necessarily like this shit, but I do like women who say, anything you want, you'll put in. <laughs> yeah. I like to put in. Okay. I put in now. Okay. Sorry, I just don't get it. Don't get yeah, This doesn't do it for me. So anyway, food, 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 food. I'll hear some sort of chick yelling. So maybe there's something here. Or complaining or crying or something. Let's do something. Vegetarian nightmare. Let's see. Thank you so much for commanding on rampant and suffocating and baby. I don't care for the
Alright, that's very cool. Fine, fine, we're getting there now. Ooh, well, it's okay. -ish. Okay, I'm sort of interested. Okay, what happens now? Eek, eek, eek. Oh, no, it's not the axe murderer. Ah, there's a knock on the door. Don't answer the door! Don't do it! It's always, it's always a trap! It's all, no, no, no! Just gonna open the refrigerator. You know, there's, 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 the head is in there. You know it. Ah! No, 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 no! Now oh, it is a little horror film being chased by the hamburger. Okay, this was like. What do you want from me? I didn't murder you! Leave me alone! You ready to film? You alright? Oh my god. Oh, Joe, I was having the weirdest dream. Oh yeah? What was it about? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, it was a little bit funny. It was only a little bit now. Might have been funny if it's like the ground to beef. You know, it's gonna bother. You know, putting all that crap in the refrigerator. And how'd all that? Would you buy all that crap just to make the movie, or to really eat that crap? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um. Okay, so that was mildly entertaining. All right, here's another one. Ice Age, raising them vegetarian. See, this is, see if this is worth almost a million views. Better be a little bit funny than the last video, I'll tell you the truth. Well, let's see how it goes. Here we go, guys. Munchia, munchia. Here you go. Little baby tyrannosaurus. What? You're not going to eat the vegetables. How are you going to become big, strong dinosaurs? <laughs> no. Uh-uh. I've raised some vegetarians. It's a healthier lifestyle. I mean, look at me. I have the pelt of a much younger slut. Excuse me. I'm trying to have a conversation here. Ah! No, 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 no. That's not for us, kids. It's way too feathery and fleshy and... And the line! Ah! 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 I thought it was a real movie. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't think it was a real movie. But anyway, didn't didn't watch the sequels to the Ice Age movies. At least I didn't watch that one. That sloth guy gets kind of boring, you know. I mean, he's funny for five minutes, and then you're just like, you know, come on. Nah. Anyway. Yes, at least it said something, almost. It was almost a message, and this is all this Indian food stuff. I'm not a big fan of this, whatever this stuff is. No, it just doesn't really appeal to me. I mean, really, it's not that complicated. There's so much vegetarian food, I and mean, really, you don't even have to go farther than, like, a potato. Potato chips. There, oh, there you go, you win. Um, but you got corn, you know, popcorn, bread, corn, corn chips, corn flakes. You know, you go to wheat, and you got bread, and you got all that. You know, you got bread. You can put anything in bread, for f Christ's sake. Jeez, I mean, it's not that hard to eat. I mean, food is not that complicated, people. It doesn't have to have all this little cr crappy crap on it and all this shitty shit on it. What the fuck is this shit? French fries. I mean, what, do you have to do something to French fries? I mean, French fries aren't just good enough as French fries. Come on, people are just way too picky. Way too needy. Veggie burgers. Lentil walnut veggie burgers. Oh, I don't know. I don't... I don't... I just don't even see the point in duplicating. I did... Well, I just don't see the point in it. It just doesn't... Okay, here we go. Sexiest vegetarian. I don't know. I'm not sure that's... I'm not sure about that. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Let's see if it's about something. Let's see. All right, wait until you Mimi meet this woman that's sitting next to me. <laughs> <sexiest> <laughs> She's from Ramona. She has been named the sexiest vegetarian 71. over 50. The thing is, <laughs> she's 70. <laughs> Mimi, good wow. morning. Wow, you're right. Right. Here. Young at heart, vegetarian for what? 40 years 40 now. 40 years. And I guess that's what you attribute your youth and your beauty to. That, I think that, and uh, green drinks and maybe a little peroxide, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't hurt, right? 
So how did this all happen? Uh, first of all, I want to say that it was for over 50. Right. And you are 20 years older than 50. Right. Were you the oldest person in the country? I was way older. In fact, most of the women could have been my daughter and some of the men could have been my uh, daughter. <laughs> but um, I saw this some little ad uh, Some could have been my daughter. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think you're right. You know, I think you got a little bit of brain trouble. Most of the men could have been my daughter. That's all. No. I don't think that that's that's almost a bad statement, right? It's almost saying something. Well, I'm just reading some of this crap. Well, anyway, um, yeah, but you know, it's, it's, the point is, is that vegetarianism will not hurt you physically any. Yes, it's not dangerous to your health. It is, in fact, probably going to do you some damn good. <sighs> All right, face piercing. No, we went. We ain't going to bother with that. More food, food, food. So, this this Czech guy. Well, this guy is really hard to listen, but let's see what he says. I didn't know he was a vegetarian. Well, that's good for him. He's not exactly an example of somebody who looks very healthy, though. Stuff you, fag. When did you come to the last meal? Breakfast or down there? Down there. Yeah, one, no, no, I mean, one, two hours later, we should maybe go down there and... Uh, or. Do you know any, I mean, you know, at the place where you had your coffee, they do have good menus, you know, like, very nice ones, like a simple steak or whatever. They are not bad, I mean. Sorry? Degenerates, degenerates. You will turn into monkeys. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So he's not a vegetarian. <laughs> well, so at least that makes his, his sloppy, dolty appearance make sense. So now I don't like him very much. He's actually a decent philosopher, but fuck, if he can't get that one, he's pretty stupid. Really. I mean, so he gets 300,000 views. So he, one of his philosophy videos will get 10 views, but he says he says some raggy, reckless, sloppy, crude, dumb, ignorant comment on vegetarianism, and yeah, that gets 300,000 views. Yeah, the world makes a lot of sense. Yep. Not at all. Let's go to one of his philosophy views. Let's see how many views it has. Three, yeah, 78,000. So we'll talk philosophy and I get 78,000. But, like I said. Contrary to what people here we go. mean, love does not idealize the other. The miracle is that you say, okay, you may be this person who is slightly stupid, not a perfect body, whatever, but still you are absolute for me. And true love precisely does not have to. Ideal. True love is not either eternal beauty or vulgar everyday person. True love is, you see, eternal beauty in the everyday person. Oh, what a crock of shit, man. He's a lot dumber than I thought he was. I mean, fuck, I don't know how you can cut through the bullshit on so many other subjects and you can't even come close on this. What the hell was that nonsense? I mean, really... The, the word itself doesn't even mean anything, but what, what are you talking about? So, yeah, if it isn't connected to some sort of aesthetics, okay, then it's not the, whatever, romantic or, um, 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 uh, as, you know, the, the, um, I'm trying to think of another word for aesthetics, but that physical, um, symmetry, beauty. So what, have you got an outro that's longer than the video? Oh, why, why do I bother? Why, why do I bother? I mean, 70,000 views for that piece of shit. Alright, 72. She's 72 now. Mimi Kirk. Yeah. Well, she's got way too, way too fake a smile. I really don't go for that. I'm smiling all the time. Look. You yeah, know, that just doesn't appeal to me. I'd like somebody to look a little bit more natural. Alright, so there's a vegetarian festival where they, I guess they put me blood on themselves to do some kind of weird-ass bullshit, so, I don't know, it's an okay political statement, maybe, I guess, I don't know, but it seems like it might be a little bit of an antic, you know, a little bit of an <laughs> antic. No, oh, they're playing blood flutes or something. Oh, they're cutting their tongue. Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> you know, just get a little bit more retarded, why don't you? So they get the vegetarian thing right, and they can't get the pointless, stupid, idiotic, 
unreasonable, moronic harm thing, right? What the hell is that? Looks like a penis sticking out from that pillow. Anyway, oh, the cat wants to go out, so I have to finish now. It's the sentient creature is more important than you bastards. Yeah. But then again, it's all, look, food, food, food. We're getting way down the list here. We haven't really gotten a good argument for vegetarianism yet. All we got is all this bullshit, 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 bullshit. There we go. Vegetarian myth. It's probably some sort of bullshit, rot, rotten, lousy, stinking, cruddy video. Okay, jeez. Nag, 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 nag. Ugh. There. Go out and poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea, though. I'm glad he doesn't do that in the house. Anyway, I think we're done. Yeah, I won't torture you any further. Let's just see what this myth is. One, we'll go here. Ah, dun, 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 dun. So, let's see what happens here. Dum, 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 the dum. other thing that you find in the archaeological records is that humans are long and tall and strong, and they keep all their teeth, and, and their bones are disease-free until you hit agriculture. And then suddenly everybody shrinks six inches and they lose their teeth and their bones are riddled with disease. This is <laughs> oh, what a pile of shit. We're living at a peak of human innovation, uh, information, wealth, and health. God. But we're also at a peak of population and consumption with rising temperatures and declining resources fueled by cheap oil and gas. Okay, we'll get to it. Television. Bringing you examples of oh, will you please get to it though? I mean, I, I imagine this is pro-vegetarian, and that woman's comment is just um, said the wrong way. Responses to energy decline and climate change through local community action. Hi, welcome to Peak Moment. I'm Janea Donaldson. My guest today is Lear Keith, who's a writer and author and radical feminist. Her book is The Vegetarian Miss, and I need to tell you, Lier, thank you for being with us. And Robin and I have read aloud maybe a handful of books together, and yours is one of those few. This, is, this oh, has been riveting. Please, get to it. Thank you. Well, it is, it is both, Don't you know, some of the writing is lyrical, it's passionate, oh, but shut what up. you are saying is so critical. Yeah, why? To hear now, many of us. With what you're saying, let me see if I say it right, that... The vegetarian way of eating, which many people are, are turning to because of climate change and so on, doesn't nurture the human being, doesn't nurture our bodies, and it doesn't, and it's destroying the planet. Right. Have it right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's destroying the planet. What a joke. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense at all. If all the vegetarians who are vegetarian now ate meat, you'd have to grow even more food, even more animals. You'd have to consume more sunlight. Because it would be a waste of resources. Uh, I mean, I'm, well, I'm just... Th 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 this, I ought, to, I ought to find out. I ought to rip this dyke a new whatever penis. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a pile of shit. Sorry, lady, you're out of your fucking mind. Um, I mean, it's just so stupid anyway. The myth of the vegetarian diet. We were vegetarian. We only became meat eaters when we got fire, you dumb cunt. Do you really think that humans chased animals and ate their raw flesh, you idiot? Go do the experiment. Go do the experiment. Go have a human go out and chase an animal and eat its raw flesh and see how the experiment works out. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. Oh, this is disgusting. So anyway, it's just, it's just depressing. Tr fucking truther lunatics. <sighs> Let's see. The physician she worked with and who diagnosed her spinal spiral degeneration put her on a diet high in quality animal and saturated fat and moderate animal protein. She is doing much better, so she's going to use anecdotal... Um, oh, the hamburger cured me stories. Oh, jeez. Just amazing. Ah, oh, damn. I don't know meat. I didn't know meat rots in the colon. I thought it was broken down by enzymes in the stomach. It continued to be broken down in small intestines and nutrients sent to the bloodstream. Well, I guess you don't know shit. 
okay? Because guess what? Uncooked meat will just rot in your digestive system. It'll pop out pretty much unmolested. Yeah, yeah, that's the truth of it, okay? Go ahead and try the experiment. Eat some raw meat, bitch, okay? And then go look at your diarrhea and see what's in it. <laughs> Stupid fucks. These people are just so fucking full of shit. Uh, anyway. It's just amazing, amazing liars. <sighs> Amazing. All right, well, this is just fucking depressing. <laughs>